Greetings. I saw your website in which you had asked for testimonies about IHOP. I attended IHOP in the Forerunner School of Ministry and was heavily involved for over three years. I started feeling very weird about some of the things that had been done and said, so I took it to the Lord as any Berean should. I began asking very genuine questions about where certain things are in Scripture and for certain things to be explained to me, such as deliverance ministry, false prophecies, manifestations, and so on, because I didn't quite understand. I felt like an outsider because everyone but me was getting it. I noticed that I had been red flagged, so to speak, and had certain people in leadership following me around. I was also moved out of my core group and into one with Sabrina Walsh, who was a, who was a former practicing witch and a current leader at FSM, so that I could be monitored closer. I began having strange dreams and was getting spiritually attacked on almost a daily basis. As I read more scripture, I also began to realize that much of what they were teaching and practicing is extremely unbiblical and even dangerous. We were constantly fasting and always in the prayer room. After eating more and going to the prayer room a little less, I felt my head start to clear up and I didn't like what I was seeing. About halfway through my third year of school, I was brought into a room with several staff members, including Walsh, who accused me of doing many things that I hadn't even come close to doing. They said something to the effect of this. We know that you have father issues that need to be resolved, and we can see that you are heavily oppressed by demons. However, we are incapable of this level of deliverance on someone. We just don't have the time or resources. So, we are going to send you to a wonderful place in Toronto, Canada. This rehabilitation facility is capable of handling your type of situation. We have sent many students here who have all come back completely delivered. We are going to send you there, and you cannot come back to IHOP or FSM until we have a written letter from them that you have been delivered fully. In the current state that you are in, you are a danger to the other students' growth and spiritual well-being. So I told the leaders I would go but I had no intention of actually going. I was very much afraid and immediately called my dad, who they told me not to talk to because he called IHOP a cult. He booked the first flight to Kansas City. My mom and I also owned a home and we were helping students of FSM by providing rooms for low rent. I had an excellent relationship with each and every person in the house. Within about two weeks of being pulled into the office, all of my roommates and friends moved out of the house. When asked directly, they either had no response or told me that the school told them it was an unsafe environment because I and my mother had a demon. I was absolutely crushed. All I ever wanted was to know God, and at the time, I felt like it was God who rejected me. I was severely messed up for about two and a half years after that. I thank God for my Calvary Chapel pastor back home who spent every minute being there for me, speaking life over me, and bringing me back to the truth of the Word of God. I almost lost faith and hope many times, but God is so amazing. He spared my life and got me out of that place. I grieve for the people who are stuck within the lie of IHOP and for the many recruited daily. I pray for their souls, and I pray that the truth be made known. If ever there was an Antichrist spirit, this is it. I've kept all my journals, notes, books, and materials from when I was there. When looking back on those things, it's as though I was a mindless drone who had just repeated everything I heard. It scares me to think that so many people are deceived, so many families ripped apart, 
so many lives destroyed, and all in the name of Jesus. God help us. God forgive those who tarnish and blaspheme your name. People have no idea how dangerous IHOP is. I remember God giving me two things that shook me while I was there. I had a vivid dream when I first arrived that didn't make sense until more recently. This was the dream. I walked into the prayer room. The lights were off and everyone was sleeping on the floor. I saw Mike Bickle's wife pacing and I asked her why everyone was sleeping because we were supposed to be getting ready. She shushed me and told me to be quiet. Then Mike came out on stage wearing bright clothes that were on backwards. He began dancing around and acting very strange. I asked his wife why he had clothes on backwards and why he was acting so weird. She got angry and said, He's doing it on purpose. It is supposed to be this way. Then Mike saw me and went behind the stage again. I've had many more dreams of God's judgment over IHOP since, but that was the one that will never be forgotten. The second thing was when God TV first came to IHOP. Mike decided to do a Friday night sermon called The Mike and Misty Show, live on God TV. I heard God say, This is my house of prayer, and you've turned it into a den of thieves. And I wept. There are countless amounts of things that happened while I was there, all of which were unbiblical, and some that were outright crazy. I don't want anyone else to suffer from this false church. They've been rebuked countless times by many, many people. An evangelist came and spoke at their conference, rebuking them, which turned into mocking laughter. They said it was holy. Many pastors, teachers, students, staff, and even Jason Upton rebuked IHOP while I was still there. God save and God have mercy on the souls trapped in the lie there. If you need anything at all, please feel free to contact me. I am a complete open book and feel like it's my duty to share my story in hopes that I could save even one life. Thank you so much for your time. Stephanie